everyone, let's talk makeup. And today I want to talk to you about my beauty basket. I um, This is where I keep the products that I'm trying to use um, up right now. And um, I did film one of these um, before and I'm trying to do these on a regular basis so you can see how I rotate through my makeup. I do have a lot of palettes especially, a lot of concealers, a lot of makeup products. And I want to, one of my goals for 2018 is to really get more use out of the collection that I already have, especially the high-end products, um, which I feel like I always try to save them for like special occasions. But then that means that you've I've paid a lot of money for these products and they hardly ever get used. So my goal in 2018 is to use them. And that is where a makeup basket um, does kind of help because I set this out in my vanity and it allows me to see these products on a regular basis and it makes it very easy to reach for them. Um, so I've already picked out a few uh, things to put in this um, basket. Some things are staying from the last time I filmed and other things are going to be rotated in and out. I've already been kind of rotating things in and out um, because I traveled and so uh, I traveled to different things, had to put them away, bring them back, blah blah blah. Anyways, let's get to it. Um, one thing that uh, is staying in my make or I'm putting in my makeup basket is this Sol um, de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Lip Balm. And I already had one of these that came in, in a kit before, and these are really good, especially during the uh, winter months. This really hydrates your lips and moisturizes them in a way that like a regular lip balm does not. So I just bought this and I need to start using it. One thing that will stay in the makeup basket because I like having it handy <coughs> Excuse me is this elf cosmetics daily moisture stick and I like to use this um, the way Emily Noel uh, taught a bunch of us how to do it which is to kind of I use my finger and then I'll use it to kind of fix up my under eye concealer if there's you know if it's settling into fine lines and I need to smooth it out if there's a dry patch on my face anything like that um, this helps it settles nicely over makeup and helps smooth in smooth out things um, so this is staying here uh, one thing that I'm putting in is this UB moisturizing skin cream um, so this is a very thick super thick cream I don't think um, most people would like it see this is how it um, looks um, so it's super thick super like restorative cream I use it on my hands uh, but you can also use it on your lips uh, for super chapped uh, lips um, but I use it on my hands for my eczema um, right now I have um, dealing with a few eczema outbreaks um, and after the eczema is uh, or in the process of the eczema healing um, those pa um, those parts of my hand really dry up and what this moisturizer does is smooth them out literally sometimes overnight I can see the difference so I really want to make sure that I'm using that right now products that's staying in is this um, doll 10 effort lash mascara this is what I'm wearing on my eyes right now it is a really nice mascara it has a pretty standard wand but it does really great things for the volume um, on my lashes, which is what I need from my mascara. I don't really need length. Um, I'm not too worried about curl. Mostly I just need a little bit of volume. So let's see. Uh, foundation. Right now, I'm trying to use up, I've decided to finally just use up my Estee Lauder Double Wear. It is not cruelty free, so I'll not be repurchasing it after I'm done. But this is, over the last few months, um, when I started thinking about using it up, was where the first line was. The second line is where I'm at now, so I'm hoping to finish this up pretty quickly. But it might take me a little while because I'm mixing it with the Sonia Kashuk Soft Focus Set and Matte Foundation. I'm mixing it in order to get my perfect uh, shade. Um, even mixing it sometimes doesn't get me the perfect shade, but right now I have this combination on my skin. I think it, I did a pretty good job of finally finding the right um, kind of ratio to mix up so that I get a nice um, a color that matches me. I'm also going to leave in this Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, foundation stick in the color Caramel and um, this matches me pretty well. Um, it's not a super full coverage foundation stick but it is really great and easy uh, for on the go or on days when I just need to do my makeup really quickly and um, be done with it. Something I always have in my makeup basket is a little lip balm. Um, right now this 
a lip smacker in honey pot is staying in so that stays there i am going to put away this color pop single shadow because um i've already gotten some use out of it and i think i'm ready to move on so uh, a couple of setting powders that i that i've been here but i haven't really reached for so i'm keeping them in the basket is this kat von d translucent setting powder um, and then this pumpkin and poppy inner glow powder and aphrodite um those i'm going to keep here so i can hopefully get some use um out of them i have a couple of concealers i have the tarte shape tape which i actually have not been enjoying it really does cake up on my under eye and um, accentuates my fine lines now I hear the trick is to use less of it which I did and still didn't think it was that great the problem for me is that my under eye area is the only part of my face that is super super dry and I think that concealer does better on kind of oily um, skin which I have in the rest of my face but not under my eyes uh, so the concealer uh, but I want to get keep trying it out figure out how to use it properly Oh, so but the other concealer that I am putting in the makeup basket is the color pop no filter concealer Minus in the color medium 30 This one I really really like it's part of what I'm wearing right now um, In my under eye and it works really great. I like it a lot Okay, um, I'm gonna keep in this naked basics um, palette from urban decay. I just hit pan the other day on here and so um this is a palette that i'm trying to pan finish up it's one of the first purchases i ever made at sephora so it's a little bit old um and i just want to finish it uh two blushes that are going in are one this neutrogena healthy skin uh, blush in the color vibrant um, this is a really pretty pink it's super pig a uh, super pigmented um blush and it's been kind of um, goes with a lot of different makeup looks so that's going in here the other one um, that I'm putting in is this Milani Cosmetics um, baked powder blush in the color Bella Rosa um, and this is a kind of deeper pink or oh, gives you a really nice flushed look on the cheeks um, so I really like it um, it's super pigmented as well a little bit blotchy um, here and there um, but I've been and I want to get more use out of that one. For bronzer, I am putting in this Kat Von D Everlasting Face Shaper Bronzer in Shady Business one. So I don't even know if Kat Von D still has these. They might not because I bought this was one of the first bronzers I ever purchased. It has a little bit of a kind of satin sheen to it. Uh, but in, this is part of what I have on as uh, bronzer. Um, but... So I bought this ages, ages ago, and then started buying more bronzers, and I never really got to truly using this one. Um, so I really want to get some use out of this before it just expires and I can't use it anymore. Another bronzer that I'm putting in, um, which is actually a face disc, and it has more than bronzer, but it's the Live, Love, Laugh Vitality Face Disc from It Cosmetics. Whoop. Um, and I showed this in um, some recent videos, but it has bronzer, blush, highlight, and I've really been enjoying the, this whole combination. It is, um, the, I have the blush and the highlight on today, and I think they look really nice on my skin. So I am putting that on there, um, and I will get some use out of it this week. For face powder, um, I'm putting in the Tarte Cosmetics Confidence Creamy Powder powder foundation in medium tan honey um, so i've only used this a few times but so far it's been a really nice powder and i really want to get more use out of it and maybe do a review on it so watch out for that um like i said i'm trying to get some use out of my high-end products um, so i realized when i was looking through <laughs> my collection that i have this set of mark jacobs eyeliner size so that i've never really used uh, so this is the black one which i've been using for the last few days but um, there's some really pretty colors in here and i just i'm going to set the whole set outside so that i can get use out of this baby for palette um i'm trying to decide what palette i want to pan or work on focus on 
for 2018. Um, so I will be rotating probably on a pretty regular daily basis my palettes till I decide which ones I want to pan. Uh, but for now, one that I will be leaving out um, is the Lorac uh, Mega Pro uh, 2 palette. This is a really pretty palette and has some really gorgeous colors. Um, it is what I have on my eyes right now. Uh, but I, what I realized is that there are quite a few shadows in here that I've never used. Um, so I'm trying to use it and seeing whether this is the one I want to pan or not. I'm kind of leaning towards panning some of my Lorac um, palettes. So I want to see if this is the one. If, if I really... Um, you know, want to pan this one or if I'd rather pick something else. Um, but for now, in terms of lipstick, I haven't picked any lipstick to put out here because I think I kind of do need to do a full cleanup of my lipsticks. I'll be moving really soon. And so um, anything that's expired or that I know I don't wear or plan on donating needs to just be purged from my collection. Um, I do, something I will be keeping out is the Sephora kit that I just purchased. It's the Sephora Give Me Some New Lip. And um, so I will be testing these out and should have a review and swatches um, coming up in the next week as well. Um, so I think that is it. Have I caught everything that um, you need? In terms of primer, I do need to pick a primer. Hmm. So that's a good thing to do on camera. Let me take a look and come back. All right, I keep all my primers in this little... Um, basket little cubby hole thing. Um, the Hourglass primer is my Holy Grail primer. Um, but right now, because we're in the winter months, this is a good time to kind of use some of my more hydrating uh, primers. So I'm um, like, I'm not going to pick the mattifying ones. Um, but this is something that I actually need to come in and purge some stuff. Ugh. Okay, let's see. I'm not sure if I want a luminous primer. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe what I'll do is pull out a bunch of these. I think what I, the one I will keep out is this Laura Geller Spackle Under Makeup uh, Primer. This is just the kind of regular one. She's got several versions of this. Um, this is a really nice, uh, pretty hydrating primer. Uh, it's a sam smaller sample size that I got a couple years ago, I think. Um, so this might be a good time to actually use it up. As this is, um, I do tend to have some dryness at certain points during these months, even though I have very oily skin. Uh, so that'll be the primer. Uh, for eye primer, um, I'm just going to keep using, and I'm almost done with it, the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer, but that goes uh, over here. I'm also, for setting spray, going to be using the Morphe uh, Prep and Set Makeup Setting Spray. I'm almost done with it, so I should be fit with it rather relatively quickly. And I think I pretty much got everything I need in this basket, which is really great. This basket helps me stay, get and stay organized. It also um, just helps me rotate through my collection. Um, so yeah, that is it for me. Let me know if you have questions about how I rotate through things or um, if they're, you know, if I've been thinking about maybe doing just a video dedicated to how I use up and rotate through my makeup collection. Uh, but this is one of the ways in which I do it is through the makeup basket. Uh, so let me know if you do these kinds of videos. I'd love to check them out. I, it's always fun to see what kinds of things people are using and picking out of their collection. I try to keep my makeup basket uh, pretty small and manageable. So. Uh, I'll leave it at that. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, like I said, or any comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.